and welcome back everybody to a plague tale and this is part 10 and i think we're nearing the final part of this game i've heard that it's about 10 hours long so one hour of each episode means we're almost there which i wouldn't really think is weird as i think that's the notre dame and that's probably the place that we're gonna go to if uh, doesn't look really that good to be honest, but okay, I'm digressing. Anyway, um, I think it's time to make this headphones sit right and um, let's see what we can do over here. Um, last time I failed. Ah, too dangerous. The archers yeah, shoot yeah. on sight. We're stuck here. Oh no, we're not. Uh, let's first go here, see if there was anything we could do here. Nope, nothing we can do here. Well then. The cart, Roderick. Let's if we push. push it to the port, Callis, it will give us cover. Yeah, Hugo push. will be protected behind it. Yeah, push. Hey. Leave it, Amicia. What are you doing? Stay back with your brother. I'm pushing. Roderick, let me help. I'll be fine. Well, if you want to help, there we go. keep an eye out for guards. I think I died right. because I had a right, arrow through my chest. Don't so. worry about me, kid. <laughs> This is gonna be annoying. Behind you. One. All right. Especially though that arrow. Well. Hugo, go. Your turn. Well. Roderick and Arthur sacrifice themselves. Just leave me alone! She's right, Melly. Yeah, well, there we go. Roderick. 
He's gone, Hugo. He's resting now. I can't take any more of these bloody rats! Oh. But they're going to get us too. Really? How? Like this. Whoa. How do you... Wow, it's... Hugo, tell me you're going to help us kill those bastards. Melly. We've got no chance without your brother, Anissa. You get that, right? I will yes. help you. And you're going to help us save Mummy. You've got yourself a deal. Okay, I got the rocks again. Stop walking forward like that. I wanna like search the guns a bit. See if there's anything I can use. Just like this. Um, so there's something on the ground there that I don't need. More rocks. Is a workbench anything I can do? Doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, so it's full. Nothing here. It's a lot more uh, easy if you can uh, get these. Oh shit. There it goes one. There it goes two. Wait, where? Oh shit! Uh, what's there? This one. There. Damn. There's a lot of stuff here. Jeez. Damn. Um, they've taken it up a notch. Oh wait, that's you guys. <sighs> We're here. Vitalis. Amicia, he's going to do something very bad. I can feel it. Bad? Like what? <laughs> Excuse me, but whatever he's up to, we're here to kill him, right? He's about to start. Let's go, Hugo. Mummy's in there. Uh -oh. oh, Lord. What's gonna happen? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Lucas! Melly! Stay where you are! You'll die if you come down! Amicia, there are rats down there. So tell them to come out. Go on. Very well. Yo, yeah, what are you gonna do then? Oh shit. Oh. Incredible. Such power. 
Right, let's go inside. There's something. No! I I was taking uh, I was picking up something. No, don't go in. I was trying to pick something up. Please, don't go. Oh. Some family. Yeah, you can say that again. Melly. Help me. No one else must get in. Hmm. There we go. What is no This will get you nowhere. Beatrice. You don't want to understand Beatrice. Oh. Mommy! My child. Hugo! Amicia! Mother! Did Vitalis do this? Oh. He sacrificed them. God. He's past the threshold! Go get out of here! Oh, for pity's sake. So now you have two people Hugo. who can control rats. Are you ready? Yes. The rats are here. Then let's go. Stay close to me. We're coming too. Well, I don't expect this to be going over. Doing good. Let her go, Vitalis! This is your last chance! Hugo, your power! You have to be careful! I'm fine! Don't worry! Yes, he's a very gifted student. Too bad he's forgotten who taught him everything. Shut up, you old fool! We're here to kill you, not listen to your speeches! And yet, look at you, walking towards me like lost sheep to their shepherd. Yeah. That's enough, Vitalis! No. You're alone! We you are not lost alone. sheep. Oh, what exactly? I still have things to teach the carrier and his friends. Oh? What will that be then? <laughs> You're so touching. Thank you. Thank you for your candor. Do you hear them? The angel. What? The angel of the new world. Oh shit. The light, eh? I saw it. Oh, those Many. were the rest Stay that don't there. listen to him. No, I can help you. I can. It's our blood, Many. All right. Destroy him. Um. Regroup! At the bar! What the? He's getting them to regroup. They're not stopping. The light isn't stopping them. I can do it. Really? Go on, you go. It's our only chance. Okay. Unbelievable. Yes. Well done, you go. We'll show him. Watch, Beatrice. Witness the end of what remains of your lineage. Do I have to, like, do this? Or? What do we do? They are merely relics of the old world. Stop it! Say that there are should be less rats or le less white rats than rats from my side. Oh, it's still all the way in the back there. Why is holding them back? Oh, oh wait, of course. Stupid. Oh no. Well, that I didn't saw that one coming. <laughs> that was uh, 
I was so focused on something in the back that I completely forgot what was happening over the back. He's getting them to regroup. Okay. I can do it. Ready? Go on, you go. It's our only chance. so quickly oh damn that's hard see them coming I mean I, I only thing I saw was just a bunch of rats collect up all together he's getting them to regroup they're not stopping the lightning is stopping them I can do it ready go on you go it's our only chance Vitalis Benedor carrier of the people that you know Unbelievable! Yes! Well done, Hugo! We'll show him! Watch Mom. this thing! Witness the end of what remains of your lineage! Leave them alone! They're children! Ground! They are merely relics of the old world! Stop it! Way too close. Hugo! Alicia, he must not abuse his power! We're going to get you out of there! Ah! What? We'll take care of it! Okay. Hugo, you feel it too, don't you? But it scares you. The true power! The gift of self! Oh, what, what are you doing now? Yeah. Stop it. I have unity. I am the blood of blood that connects all people. Get oh, back! Geez. Stay with you guys! Become one oh, again! Yeah. Why can't I go back? No! What? What? Wait, what was the... I couldn't go back? I guess I need to make explosive stuff. Die! Become wrong again! Uh, Get away from them! Whoa! Well, I have no clue what to do.
become one again! But I can't do anything. Um, what do we do? My servants shall rise toward the firmament. Oh Lord, I don't have. Stuff. I am the weapon of the much. You can't run. The storm of life. My angel. Oh crap. I know you are hungry. Soon you shall eat. Now you go. I don't have anything to do. I, I cannot do anything. I don't have any stuff to work with. It just Die. says become one again. <laughs> So yeah, now I just I'm gonna die. I can't. Oh, so that's basically what it means. I thought I had to just. That I have to hit him. Do I do this? Well, I was too late. Okay, so I don't need to hit him. Shall rise toward the firmament. All the angels will descend on the all. Return, my followers. Return to your last. No protection, No, it's impossible. You pay for this. Come to me. Come see. Face blood, incertitude, and peace. Get away from them. Seriously, how that you cannot do anything about this? <clears throat> Die! Become one again. Seriously, I see the thing move and I t I start to run, but Amicia is so slow. I I wonder why she is so slow. Wait, I can stay on the side, right? The weapon of the much. Get away from them! The storm of life! My angel, I know you're you hungry. Go. The dark. Come on, let's pick Soon up. you shall eat! Okay. You pay for this. Come to me. Come see. The face blood, incertitude, and peace. Renewal. Well, this is. Uh... Oh shit. He's gonna miss. Oh no. No! Ah! Ah! Is it now? Oh, you. I can hear it screaming in the 
last at front. I sacrificed my flesh to become the crucible where everything unites. You cannot kill that which has been sublimated. too fast and I couldn't get out of there and then he blocked my complete complete escape route. Die! This is gonna be a, an annoying oh it's going to be an annoying battle. Oh, the angel will descend on the old 
Return to your master! I hope he's on somewhere. Nope, he's not. Wait, what? Is he? Wait, why didn't he do anything? We won't get him this time! That's it! Come back to me! Okay. And my servants shall it's rise toward the is annoying. Die! And it's so scripted. Become one oh, again. I am the weapon of the much. I'll just stand there, Amicia. The storm of life. My angel, I know you're no, hungry. You Don't miss. Come on. Soon you shall eat. Okay. No, no, it's impossible. You pay for this. Come to me. Come feed. It is blood. It's gratitude. And peace. You go. Well, I can only help one time. Three. But if you have all those rats and they don't listen to anyone except him, that's gonna be a problem. Take it easy, Hugo. Hugo! Calm down. It's over. 
Okay, okay. I have to say that wasn't the most fun boss battle that I ever had, but... On the other hand, I just, uh, I do have to take into account that this is a small studio that produces game and... It really... Let's say it... it you have to give them credit for what they've created with the small studio, I don't know how many people there were in the studio, but they it wasn't a lot. So, yeah. That's Plague Till Innocence. And, um... Ugh. My keyboard is having a stroke or something. So, yeah, um... All in all, I... I think it's a really great game. Um, I'll just uh, give my uh, a small opinion of this of the game um, as I'm thinking of maybe doing a bit of a bigger review. But it's the let's say let's start with with everything like from from the start. Like when I started out, I thought it looked a bit weird. Maybe the the movement of characters was a bit weird, or at least it it's it looked that way. But that was just the first impression. Later it later on I just had like okay this this game looks great and the the movement of characters, the uh, the cutscenes, the graphics, they're really, really good. And I do think that this is a triple A game, um, which could even have had more. Is there something coming now or? Oh, there is. Three days later. Nice. All right, let's go. Oh, Have we got sure. everything? <laughs> yes, that's all Lucas asked. I'll leave that for. Uh, is mommy going to get better with this? She will be all right, Hugo. Mommy is tough, isn't she? Just like you. That's right. I can't wait for us to find a new castle. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you've got the taste of a king now. We'll see what we can do. We have to leave the region first. Well, looks so, like everything were you able up. to go home? Yes. The nest is still there, but it's empty. Huh. I can't believe the rest oh, of the Oh, look! I hope they you are. try your hand at shooting. Not me. My sister's really good. Right, Amicia? Uh, All right. Okay. Let's have a go. Good. Good. The rule is simple. You have six stones, six possible shots. Try and shoot as many targets as possible. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Go on, Amicia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I thought I would, might have missed that. Whoa. There we go. Just another one. Did I miss one? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know how to do it. You yeah. want an apple, and all due respect. <laughs> yes, Amicia, well done. The apple's for you, Hugo. You're my biggest supporter. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was hungry. As always. Hey, today we're celebrating the third day without rats. There's a little fair down the street. Go take a look. A fair? A real fair? I've never seen a fair before. Hugo, Lucas is waiting for us. We should be getting back. But it's a fair. Come on. Hugo... All right, but we can't stay long. You're fine. Hey, Hello there. Look. Oh, that's the young boy. Oh no. No, no, boy, you just can't come in. But why? Because you can. That's why. 
Huh? Yeah. Hey, is there a problem? Look, the problem is a kid and his sister are wanted around here by what? important people. We, but we, we just don't want any trouble here. You understand? I can see very well. Hugo, we have to go. Mm. Well? What the fuck? Come on. Why? Why are they wanted? Hey Hugo, what? The first one to arrive at the cart wins 20 apples. 20 apples? But you'll never beat me. Right, Slug? What? You see? Oh yeah? Then on three. One, two, three! Hey! <laughs> Right behind you. You can't beat me. <laughs> all right, all right. You won. Yes, twenty apples. We made it, Lucas. Do you have everything? The Saint John's Watt, the Hawthorn, all of it. Let's go. Good. Yes? Why are they looking at me like that? Melly looked at me the same way. Then she left. Because she doesn't like me anymore. Hugo, That's she, not it. She had other things to do. That's not true. But it doesn't matter. Run! Is she going to sleep much longer? She has to get her strength back. With the herbs you bought, she'll soon be back on her feet. All right. Hey, Hugo. What? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> You're ugly. Really ugly. <laughs> <gasps> ugly? Me? You look like a big fat fly. A fly! Wow. Your own sister! Oh, such a slur requires punishment! <laughs> Lucas! Hey! Help! The fly's attacking me! What? Thank you to all Asobo Studio and our family members for their support during the development of this game. And big kisses to all Asobo Studio new babies. <laughs> nice. Okay, I guess that this is the end then. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll see you after uh, these credits if we go, go any further. So, yeah, what I was saying, like, there's... Why is my keyboard doing this every time? But, um, yeah, as I was saying, like, the game uh, took off. It, it, at least it looked to me like it was a bit weird. The style was great, the graphics were great, but the movements were a bit... I don't know, there, there was something in the movement of the characters that I found a bit strange. But... That disappeared after an hour of play. I really didn't see any weird stuff um, there were some there, there are of course some little bugs every now and then and because uh, I can remember there's one one time that I tried to uh, put someone to sleep with a stealth attack but she moved around him while well he saw me and then it, it was weird and I, I had a laugh but 
it, it was weird and but I still it's a really small studio and um, I looked a bit into them and I uh, found that this is their first real triple A game that they the, um, developed themselves so that's a real well that's respect real respect for these guys hey commercial executives Jeroen Buys <laughs> I'm in the game well my front name but yeah um, all in all graphics were good story was was fine like the story the story isn't the best story out there but that's not to say that it wasn't a good story it was well like the story premise was fine it was it wasn't really that that epic or anything but the story was really well made like the the way the characters were in the story they were believable um, all the, the the characters had their own personality so you really knew that Beatrice was the mother and uh, and how she was you uh, you get to know uh, Amicia a lot and how she is how Hugo is um, the voice acting was fine um, I, I haven't it, it didn't annoy me at any point gameplay wise there might be some some things that I that could have been done better um, but the UI the interface worked fine <laughs> um, but there were mocaps I was wondering if there were mocaps but there were Gabin line it Stephanie Kassaknaert. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the story is... I, I really enjoyed the story. Um, I've read reviews that people saying the story was bad or not really good at any... Or not really standing out in any part, but I think it's... I think it's a really good story. Uh, well made, characters are well done. Uh, the graphics are well... Um, are really good. Um, the scenes where you or the levels where you were walking through are really well made they really know um, they really knew the setting of the game uh, the place they were in uh, and, the, and the, the generally increasing like horror feeling uh, of all those rats I do have to say that even though I enjoyed the way the game went and how it finished, uh, I don't know. It it really. I know that the game takes place somewhere in those like um, the Dark Ages or some, uh, at least with the the black with the plague. And I knew from the start when I saw it that they were going to go over the top. I do like what they did with it, but I do think that it might have taken away a bit from uh, how serious to take everything. Because at some point, the rats were constantly a danger. And I was wondering what they were going to do with those rats to make them even more... Um, yeah, how do you say that? To make them even more... Dangerous, I guess, because um, not you, you already had the fear of being bitten um, or being overrun by them from the start, and then they started bundling up in like little tornado vortexes, and that started to like I I I'm not like I'm gonna stop playing because I don't enjoy that because um, I do think it's a bit too over the top, um, but I took it. And the final part is something that I was basically expecting to happen because they already hinted at that he was creating mice that weren't or rats that weren't listening to um, or weren't afraid of light, I guess, or at least they were more tame. And I was already like, okay, this is gonna have some influence on the end. And well, we saw how it ended. So it's not exactly how I would have ended the game but I do understand where they went with it and especially as how they were ramping up the whole 
more supernatural stuff with controlling the rats and everything. So I, I do understand why they went there and, and, and got to this point. What I did not expect was the ending scene, um, where you, what we just did, where you went, uh, went to get some medicine for the mother. Because I was wondering how abruptly the game ended, and I was about to say something about that the game was maybe too abruptly ended. I know that, the, that you're basically done there, that the, the big leader of everything is, is dead. But to uh, cut it off so abruptly was a bit too much. But knowing that she went out there and tried to stop the rats, uh, probably with Hugo. What happened to Beatrice? I don't know. But apparently she got sick and she needed medicine and that... Um, and I guess that she is wanted because of the first... First uh, city that you went... That this was the first city that you went into. I don't know why she's... Exactly why she's wanted, but... I remember that going through a city that looked a bit like this, uh, where people were chasing you, where you're still wanted uh, by the uh, the Crusaders or the, the Templars. So yeah, I. To be honest, everything in this game was like, for what the game was, it was great. I uh, I don't enjoy going uh, after all the mechanics of the games because I've also seen reviews about the game that the game was too scripted um, and if you for instance in the last part where uh, Roderick died um, if you would take out all the archers that um, he would still magically die by arrows that didn't even hit him um, I know people could get put off from that but I don't really like to uh, enjoy getting in the situation where I know the mechanics of the game, try to do it again, try to f fool the game or try to break the boundaries or see if I can. Um, I just want to play the game and, and how it goes in one one way um, and see what happens. Like the guy told, uh, that I watched said that he could get every... Um, get every archer or kill every archer then kill every soldier and he would still die and I was in that situation and I was like well I would just follow my gut and see that if I moved along the line uh, down the stairs up the stairs and I got there that was enough for me to just survive because that was what they wanted to do and the game is telling you a story it's, it's letting you play that story so it's not meant to be go off track so much and you can see it in more ways because there are parts where you can jump over walls when you're chased and they suddenly lose track of you even though they can still see you um, but that doesn't really bother me that much as I know it's still a game and uh, it's not really hyper realistic or anything so um, yeah anyway yeah that's my that's basically my thoughts of the game um, I, I really enjoyed playing it i like the scenery i like the scenes the the vibe that they gave um the most the scene that stood out the most to me was the battlefield where you come and you have to walk over all the bodies uh through a battlefield um um past the aqueduct so that was really a scene that stayed with me um and I liked uh, the little section where you have to play with Hugo, where you really get the sense of feeling vulnerable as you cannot do anything. And it, it yeah, they, they did that really well. But yeah, um, all in all, great game. Some things I don't really enjoy that much, but I'll just take it for what it is and, and not be hung up with it and... and, and don't like the game because of a few elements that I don't like. So, um, if you ask me, should I play the game myself? Um, if you've seen the whole game from me, then probably a replay value isn't that isn't really there because the story is really uh, uh, not branching off at anything or any point, and there's not really anything else you can do. Um, but if you want, if if you want to play the game and you think like should I play the game and I've, I haven't seen it or I did see it but I want to play I, I'm doubting if I need want to play it myself then yeah I would say go play it it's it's a fun game mechanics are fine 
they uh, they are sometimes a little bit wonky and sometimes the game isn't really perfectly clear where you where they want you to go but it's not really happening that often so that's just some nitpicky things so don't worry about that um, but yeah that's my my initial uh, short thought about the uh, about the game and uh, yeah I had a good time with it and I hope you did too uh, if you did let me know in the comments below because um, I really would love to know what you think of the game and if you share my opinions and stuff uh, there um, I mean the characters like Amicia and Hugo were really fun characters to see um, the the whole guiding Hugo through the game um, never felt annoying you could let go of Hugo if you wanted and do something else but you don't really have to do that except from the moments that the game forces you to so there's really no like I thought Hugo would be very annoying to deal with because you have to keep his ha hold his hand all the time but the game really made a, made a good effort to make that not annoying and even um, make you feel like when you let go of Hugo at the moments the game forces you to do that as you're in the back of your mind thinking oh no where is Hugo how is what is he doing uh, is he safe and stuff like that so that's something that, that stayed with me because um, I like to dive more into the story uh, myself than maybe others who more superficially look at it and see it for a game that it is I like to try and become one with the story and the characters and understand why they do stuff and um, and I think that the most amazing part of this game that they do well um, and that's probably what I enjoy the most in games uh, often is like the online games um, the MMOs um, and, and games that give you a character that already knows the world is it's it's more difficult for me to connect with characters that already know everything from the world and um, you're just in there like I have no clue what to do and they're just running around and talking with everybody and doing everything and, and going from country to country and, and knowing whatever where everything is um, take a game like Horizon Zero Dawn for instance where you're a character that doesn't know anything about the world outside of the, uh, the veil I think it was um, where you learn together with the character what's going out outside of the whole whole uh, protected environment where you were and that's the same with Amicia Amicia the first part of the game you get to know the character uh, you get to know the father the dog and everything and the mother uh, later on with Hugo uh, attached to that and then you're thrown out there and Amicia doesn't know what's going on Hugo doesn't know what's going on uh, you get to a guy called um, or uh, Oscar I think it was um, and uh, his teacher I don't know what his name was um, you go there and then they just tell you stuff and you still really don't know what's going on and you're in this game finding out more and more about the world and what's going on and that's something that I really enjoy that the characters don't know the same amount of information as you do and that doesn't put you in the back seat of something and controlling a character that knows everything that's going on making you look silly for not doing what she already knows so that's um, that's something that probably was the best part of this game and um, and like I said also from from other games like Horizon Zero Dawn who do it perfectly as well so um, yeah I'm gonna leave that here um, like I said if you enjoyed please let me know down below um, if you enjoyed the whole series um, be sure to subscribe or uh, like the video. Uh, at least subscribe and click the bell so that you know when I upload some something new. Um, in the future I will be uploading uh, Tales of Vesperia, which is the game that I will be playing after this one, the definitive edition. So um, yeah, be sure to uh, subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when that goes live. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!